A brother and sister from Erie have been searching to find the burial sites of three of their relatives who died in the early 1900s. Now, it was the desire of their late father to find his deceased brothers and sister. No gravestones have been found and documentation of the deaths is very limited and it's also very confusing. John Lash tries to get to the bottom of this mystery in tonight's edition of The Last Word. During the last edition of The Last Word, we learned about this old Polish cemetery on Erie's Merline Avenue. We learned that it was neglected between the 1940s and the 1970s. City crews leveled it in 1972 and took the gravestones to a dump. Years later, researchers were able to confirm the names of 34 people buried here. Those names were placed on this monument erected in 2001. One of the researchers, Tom Doyle, believes others are buried here, but he could not find any documentation to prove it. He feels terrible about it. You know, it's not fair to him. You can't bury somebody and just, just forget about him. It it's, doesn't work that way. Not with me. <laughs> Antoinette Pizzi and her brother, Joe Kludzinski, have been on a quest. They want to know if three of their relatives are buried at the old Polish cemetery. Their dad's six-year-old brother and his five-year-old sister died in 1918 during the Spanish flu pandemic. His baby brother died the following year. Antoinette and Joe want to fulfill their late father's wishes and find where his siblings are buried. And he said, you know, you should look and see if you can find them because I would like to put a gravestone on them. He's a very caring individual and... He would have, you know, wanted them to have, a, you know, their proper stone in, in place and, and, you know, to be honored in that. All Antoinette and Joe have are the children's death certificates. The paperwork says the three are buried in the old Polish cemetery. Could it be that they are among those buried here and not memorialized on the monument? I think we need to get a resolution to this because, you know, it's my, my dad's wish. With the gravestones gone, there is really no definitive proof that the children are buried on Merline Avenue. But there are other Polish cemeteries in the area. Could they be there? We went to see Corey Tymon at Trinity Cemetery on Westlake Road. We asked if there's any paperwork on the Kludzinski children. We've discovered the three children were buried in uh, the old St. Stan's Cemetery, which is... Uh, actually in, within our Trinity Cemetery that we took over in the late 80s or early 90s from the church. Corrick and a colleague went a step further. They took an extensive walk through the St. Stan section to hopefully find the children's gravestones. There were none. We know they're there, we just don't know specifically where. Antoinette and Joe hope to soon fulfill their father's wish and place a monument here at Trinity Cemetery. With the last word in Mill Creek, John Last, Erie News Now. And Timon believes a potter's field was created at St. Stan Cemetery during the Spanish flu epidemic. He says a lot of bodies needed to be buried, mm. and many families did not have the resources to purchase a gravestone.